Good morning and welcome back to the B&B Show. I'm here with my co-host today, Madison Vogel. Today we're going to show you a new product called the Box Camera. We have a special guest today, the inventor of the Box Camera, George Eastman. Thank you very much for joining us today, George. We would like you to come and introduce your new product to us today. So George, what was your reasoning for inventing the Box Camera? One day out of the blue, I was thinking about inventing something that could capture memories within minutes and not within hours. So did you know right away that you wanted to make something that takes pictures? No, in fact, I've been interested in photography since I was young. What made you so interested in photography? I just have always liked the idea of capturing memories and thought of to myself, why not be the inventor of the next camera? How was your childhood? Did you have any education? Well, I dropped out of high school at the age of 14 to help with my family's income. I worked at a large farm owned by my family. I also worked as a messenger and as an office boy for an insurance company and studied accounting at home to qualify for a higher salary. So we can tell that you came from a poor family. What was family life like? Did you have a big family that you need to help support? My dad died when I was only eight years old. He had opened a college in Rochester, New York, so we were forced to move there. One of my older sisters died when I was only 16. She had been wheelchair bound and had battled polio. My mom had never had a job. She just took care of me and my older sisters. Once my dad died, she was forced to take in borders to add to our family income. I'm very sorry to hear that. You must have went through a rough time as a child. Did you have anyone to help you on your journey of inventing the box camera? No, I built this camera all by myself. So you're saying that you made this all by yourself? That's crazy. Yes, I made this invention all by myself. My first Kodak box was sold in 1888. I patented it September 4th, 1888. How much do you sell this camera for? Is it reasonable? This camera can cost anywhere from one to $25, depending on how many rolls it has. Did you have any other inventions prior to the box camera? Yes, actually I did. I invented the Emotion coding machine in 1879, which helped me mass produce photographic dry plates. I also opened the Eastman Dry Plate and Film Company. How about after? Did you have any inventions after the box camera? I made other kinds of cameras inventions, which were the roll film, Kodak 1, Kodak camera, and Browning 1 and 2. So, it sounds like you've had a pretty successful career so far. You've provided so much knowledge to the evolution of the cameras. Do you plan to keep making cameras? I will try my hardest to keep improving cameras the best that I can. Well, thank you for being here with us today and talking about your product with us. Thank you for having me. I had a great time. We will see you next time on the, the B&B Show. We're now going to show you the evolution of the camera. In 1500, the Obscura camera was made by Ivan Al Haifa. In 1839, the Degario type camera was invented by Louis Degard. In 1859, the panorama camera was created by Von Martin. In the year 1861, the stereoscope viewer was invented by Oliver Weldell Holmes. In 1888, George Eastman created the Kodak Roll film camera. In the year 1900, the Kodak Brownie camera was invented by George Eastman. In 1900, the Rise camera was created and manufactured by East Cedar. In the years 1913 and 1914, the Candid camera was invented by Oscar Barnack. In 1948, Edwin Lynn invented the Polaroid camera. In 1978, the camera Kronika Z35AF was invented by Kronika. In 1991, Kodak released the first professional digital camera system. In the year 2000, the world's first phone camera was invented. And this, this is the evolution of the cameras.
and this is the evolution of the camera.